University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The 2021-2022 University Challenge begins tonight. Ahead of us lie several months of rigorous competition between 28 student teams, all of whom acquitted themselves with distinction when they sat our test paper earlier this year, and all of whom have set their sights on lifting the trophy and earning the right to call themselves series champions. As well as our test paper, they've overcome the hurdle of actually getting themselves here under stringent socially distanced conditions. And to keep them safe, we're retaining the precautions of having them sit between screens. Each of them also has an earpiece so they can still hear themselves confer. As always, tonight's teams are playing for a place in the second round. The losers could get a chance to play again if their score is among the four highest losing scores from these first round matches. Now, King's College London was founded in 1829 by a group of politicians and clergy who wanted to see a Church of England institution that could counter the supposedly godless influence of University College London, which was established only a couple of years earlier. Its alumni include the poet John Keats, the writers Thomas Hardy, Virginia Woolf, Arthur C. Clarke and Susan Hill, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and the Olympic rower Catherine Granger, representing around 33,000 students and with an average age of 22. Let's meet the King's team. Hi, my name's Anand Satinath. I'm from between Southampton and Portsmouth and I'm studying medicine. Hello, I'm Rachel Bedwin. I'm from South East London and I'm studying for a PhD in developmental biology. And their captain? Hello, I'm Asya Rashid. I'm from Daventry in Northamptonshire and I'm studying for a bachelor's degree in philosophy. Hi, my name is Oliver Beard. I'm from South East London and I'm doing an MA in the history of war. Now, Glasgow University is Scotland's second oldest and was inaugurated by the city's bishop in the mid 15th century. The 19th century saw it expand to Gilmore Hill and at the centre of its campus is the Gothic Revival building designed by George Gilbert Scott with a bell tower that is one of the city's most notable landmarks. Alumni include the broadcasters Susan Kalman and Neil Oliver and the writers Denise Mina and Stephen Moffat. With a student population of 31,000 and also with an average age of 22, let's meet the Glasgow team. Hello, I'm Erin Thompson. I am from Glasgow and I'm studying physics. Hi, I'm Nikki Fairbairn. I'm from Ayr on the west coast of Scotland and I'm studying for a PhD in chemical physics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Sean Cairns. I'm from Clyde Bank and I'm studying for a joint degree in Theatre Studies and Film and Television Studies. Hiya, I'm Darius Doroulis, originally from Vilnius, Lithuania, and I'm studying Computing Science and Physics. OK, the rules are the same as ever. Starter questions are solo efforts. You answer them on the buzzer, and bonus questions, you can confer their team answers. Right, fingers on the buzzers, please. What colour is an alias of a character in Reservoir Dogs, appears on the flag of Ivory Coast and is a byname of the royal figure who landed at Brixham in Devon in November... King's Rashid. Orange. Orange is correct, yes. <laughs> right, you get three questions on historic speeches. Who dissolved Parliament with the pronouncement that included the words, is there a single virtue now remaining amongst you? You have no more religion than my horse. In the name of God, go. Um, I reckon that's Oliver Cromwell. Um, any, any... Yeah, it has to be Cromwell. Yeah. Uh, is that Oliver Cromwell? It is Oliver Cromwell, yes. In a 1775 speech on the rights of the colonies, which future governor of Virginia is credited with using the expression give me liberty or give me death? Um, I mean, Governor of Virginia, um, Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, that's my thought. Jefferson? Yeah, that's my thought as well. Um, I don't know any other prominent Virginians. Is that Thomas Jefferson? No, it's Patrick Henry. In a speech to troops at Tilbury, recorded by the chaplain Lionel Sharp, who said, I have the heart and stomach of a king? Yeah, it's Elizabeth I. Elizabeth I. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which 20th century poet and novelist is the subject of Kate Moses's 2003 novel, Wintering? It's a recreation of the last months of the poet's life before her death in 1963. Glasgow Thompson. Uh, Sylvia Plath. Correct. 
bonuses are on occupational surnames. What surname is that of a US film director noted for works in the horror and sci-fi genre and has a meaning that is roughly equivalent to the Russian Plotnik, the French Boissier or the German Zimmermann? Uh, uh, so Zimmermann so is window, 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 window uh, uh, room. Room? I don't know uh, then. Diet room. American, oh, carpenter, maybe? Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A carpenter? Carpenter is correct, yes. What surname is that of the player who holds the goal scoring record for the Ukraine national football team and has a similar meaning to the German Schumacher? That is, shoemaker or cobbler. What's Ukrainian, Ukrainian for Schumacher? Uh, I have no idea. Well, what's like Russian for it? Could yeah. it be something like it? Darius what it was saying. Yeah. Um, I guess it's something like Pavelchuk, I don't know. Uh, nominate Derillis. Pavelchuk. No, it's Shevchenko. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. The winner of three Wimbledon titles, which German tennis player has a surname that is roughly the same in meaning as the French Fournier? Steffi Graf? Yeah. Steffi Graf? Yeah. Steffi Graf? Steffi Graf? No, it's Boris Becker. Oh, oh, Boris Becker. Ten points for this. Apply to the Northern Star by Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, what word is used in physical science to denote a component of a relationship between variables that does not change its value? Glasgow Thompson. Uh, constant. Constant is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on astronomy in the early 20th century. Born in 1874, the Japanese astronomer Kei Hirayama gives his name to families of what celestial bodies with similar orbital elements? Uh, orbital elements? It's like asteroids or... Um, oh, it could be asteroids. Yeah, it could be asteroids. Asteroids? Yeah. Asteroids. 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 asteroids is correct, yes. Which US engineer discovered in 1932 that the centre of the Milky Way emits radio waves? A unit used by astronomers to denote radio emission strength is named after him. Emission strength. Uh, Radio emission strength, what's that named after? Who? Um, Anyone? I don't know what to be called an astronomy specifically. Should we just name a US astronomer? Like Pickering or something? Okay, sure. Yeah. Pickering? No, it's Jansky or Jansky. <laughs> yeah. okay. Proposed in 1931, Georges Lemaitre's theory of the primeval atom is more commonly designated by what two word term? Big Bang? That's Big Bang. Oh. Big bang. Yeah, okay. yeah. Big Bang? Big Bang is correct. <laughs> we can take a picture around now. The picture starter is the final results table for the top-level UK league in a team sport for the 2019 season. Parts of some names have been blacked out. For ten points, name the sport. Kings Bedwin. Rugby league? No. Glasgow Darulis. Basketball? No, it's netball. So we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Here's another starter question, then. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Which Russian-born physicist is the only winner to date of both a Nobel and an Ig Nobel Prize? The latter was awarded in 2000 for levitating a live frog to demonstrate diamagnetism in water. Ten years later, he shared a Nobel Prize with Konstantin Novoselev for developing ah. graphene. Glasgow Fairbairn. Andrew Gaim. Andrew Gaim is correct, yes. Right, you saw the full Netball Super League results from 2019 for your starter. For your bonus, you need to give the words missing from the team names. Each missing word is the short name of the university at which each team is based. And to help you, the locations of these universities will be marked A, B and C on a map alongside. Firstly, the missing word at A. OK, so that's... that's... I have no clue. Anyone? Anyone named no, City, yeah. South East? South so West, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's too north to be Exeter, isn't it? Um, well, I just say. Uh, uh, Plymouth? Plymouth? Plymouth uh, is a good uh, Plymouth, uh, Falmouth, I don't know. Falmouth or Plymouth? Falmouth. Falmouth? No, Falmouth is on the coast oh. in Cornwall. It's the University of Bath. Oh, oh. yeah. We're all wrong. Secondly, B, please. Okay, so just above oh, Leicester. Leicester. Um, I'm trying to think football, but I can't. Um, I don't know, something like is Sheffield there? Is she it? Sheffield, mm, could be, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Sheffield. No, that is Loughborough. Oh. oh, yeah. And finally, C, please. 
Oh, get that. Exeter. It could be Exeter, yeah. Um, no, it's no, no. Like, west for there. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so it's just outside London? Portsmouth or Brighton or Southampton? Or Brighton. Or Brighton. Yeah. Brighton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Someone name a city. I can't think. <laughs> I can't think in. <sighs> okay. Uh, Exeter. Exeter? No, that's in the West Country. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, that is the University of Surrey. Right, ten yeah. points for this. In 1928... Hassan al Banna founded which international... Kings Rashid. The Muslim Brotherhood. Correct. <laughs> you get three questions on the actor Lakeith Stanfield. Which 2017 horror film features Stanfield in a supporting role, seemingly the only black friend of the protagonist's in-laws? His strange behaviour leads to the discovery of a disturbing family secret. Get, 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 yeah, get out. Uh, it's get out. Get Out is correct. Which 2018 absurdist comedy by Boots Riley stars Stanfield as a struggling telemarketer? His co-worker advises him that his sales will improve if he uses a white voice, which he does with surreal consequences. Um, I don't know. Is that um, Black Klansman? I was thinking... Oh, that? Black Klansman. Yeah, um, is it Black Klansman? No, it's Sorry to Bother You. <sighs> which 2019... Crime thriller finally stars Stanfield as Damani, the business associate of the jeweller and gambling addict Howard Ratner, played by Adam Sandler. Uncut gems. Uncut gems. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Released 100 years after its subject's birth, the 2020 work by Philip Clark, subtitled A Life in Time, is a biography of which musician whose eponymous jazz quartet's works include the album Time Out? Glasgow Cairns. Dave Brubeck. Dave Brubeck is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the ancient world. In each case, name the person from the description. All three answers begin with the same four letters. First, a Roman emperor who died in 395, generally said to be the last to rule both halves of the empire. The double walls around Constantinople were named after his grandson, who shared his regnal name. Constantine, then? Okay, yeah, sure. Constantine? No, it was Theodosius. Oh. A Gothic king who conquered Italy in the late 5th century, secondly. His mausoleum is in Ravenna. Um, that's... what is it? Um... Yeah, something. Oh, no, I'm gonna give myself, um... Theodosius, or...? No. Sorry, no. no. <sighs> Anyone? OK, uh, Theodosius. No, it was Theodoric the Great. Mm, yeah. Finally, an empress who died in 548, the consort of Justinian I. The... Theodosia? Theodosia? Theodosia. Yeah. Theodosia. Yeah. Theodosia? No, it's Theodora. Oh. Ten points for this. Large populations of Wolof and Serra ethnic groups are found in which country ah. in West Africa? Glasgow Cairns. Senegal. Senegal is correct. <laughs> Right, you get a set of bonuses on a pan-continental organisation with its headquarters at Addis Ababa. Which organisation succeeded the OAU in 2002? I need a two-word name. African, African Union? Union? African Union? Correct. Which country was suspended from the African Union in 2009 after Andre Rajolina seized power? The suspension was lifted five years later following the elections. Major, could that be like Sudan or something? No, was it? Yeah, there was uh, some major uprising in 2009 in an African country then. Right. Uh, and I think Nigeria also had. Mm, Nigeria. Mm, 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 South African Republic. But... We're just no. naming countries. Yeah. <laughs> Someone... you know, Sudan? No, no. Sud Sudan. No, it's Madagascar. Oh. In 2017, which country joined the African Union, having left its predecessor, the OAU, in 1984 after a dispute over the status of Western Sahara? Oh, that be Morocco? Morocco, yeah, because Morocco is... Yeah. Morocco. Morocco is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round. Your music start, you're going to hear a recording of a live performance. Ten points if you can name the singer. When I was just a baby, my mama told me... <laughs> Glasgow Thompson. Uh, Johnny Cash. It is Johnny Cash, yes. <laughs> Do some prison blues. He was performing at St Quentin State Prison. 
Cash was an outspoken advocate for prisoners' rights throughout his career. For your bonuses, I want you to identify three more recent artists who have actively campaigned for prison reform. Firstly... Simple walk to the corner store So I'm I never thought you would be getting a call from the corner <laughs> So the song's been gunned down, been gunned down Who sings like soft lyrical ballads? Tears in her eyes, can you calm down? <laughs> I can't let her talk Can you calm down? I want to use No, no, no fuck that Is there any fire in the city that's Emily, Emily Sandy? Okay. <laughs> if we don't get that, that'll be bad <laughs> Emily Sandy? No, it's not, it's oh. Alicia Keys Yeah oh. Perfect way to die Secondly the cage bird sings for freedom to ring. Black bodies being lost in the American dream. Blood of black being no, past or seen. Slavery still alive. Check Amendment 13. Who was that the song last year? Like, but there's one. Instead of they used to work criminal. Sweet yeah. land of liberty, incarcerated country. Same Shot like me with your ray gun. A rapper. Mm. Prison is a business. I'm gonna be a rapper, please. Stop, baby. That's Cambino, maybe? I don't know. Could it be no, Stop it's not Cambino. Like what? Skill by Q. Um, nominate Fairbairn. Is it Schoolboy Q? No, it's not. It's Lonnie Lynn or Common. Oh. And finally, who's this? Jay-Z. Yeah. That is Jay-Z. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need the name of an artist here. Judith and Holofernes, The Fates and The God Saturn. Ah. Are... Glasgow Darulis. Caravaggio. No, you lose five <sighs> points are among the title figures of a series of works produced from about 1819 by which artist born near Zaragoza? King's Rashid. Goya. Goya is correct. <laughs> there is some of his black paintings, right. You get a set of bonuses now on chemical engineering. Developed by Chaim Weizmann, later the President of Israel, the ABE fermentation process uses an acid-resistant bacterium to produce which volatile chemical compound with byproducts of butanol and ethanol? Propanol. Um, oh. Propanol. Any ad any advancement on propanol? Um, yeah. Uh, could I nominate Bedwin, please? Propanol. No, it's propanone uh, or acetone. Bad luck. Acetone is used in the acetate process for the production of acetate rayon. A fibre composed of what naturally occurring polysaccharide? Um, I'd guess it's cellulose, but I don't know. Cellulose? It is cellulose, yes. A major industrial use of acetone during the First World War was the production of which explosive? A mixture of cellulose nitrate and nitroglycerine. TNT. Uh, is that TNT? No, it's not. It's cordite. Ten points for this. Discovered in 1881 in what is now Pakistan, the Bakshali manuscript is believed to be the oldest extant text from the Indian subcontinent on which subject? Glasgow Cairns. Yoga. No, anyone want to buzz from Kings? Kings Beard. Buddhism. No, it's mathematics. Ten points for this. What specific isotope decays by double alpha emission, leaving no other nuclear material behind? King's Rashid. Deuterium. No, anyone to pass from Glasgow? Glasgow Darulis. Plutonium 239. No, it's beryllium 8. Ten points for this. Of Science and Learning and The Song of the Grave are sections of which tone poem of 1896, inspired by a work by Nietzsche? It is part of the soundtrack of... Glasgow Darulis. So spoke Zarathustra. Correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on British Children's Laureates. Who was named the Children's Laureate in July 2019, succeeding Lauren Child? Her books include How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, who wrote oh. those books? I've seen the films. Yeah. <laughs> I think who wrote the books. I read the books as a kid. Oh. Is it Stephanie someone? Or... I just guess the name. <laughs> Stephanie Child. No, it's Cressida Cowell. Mm. Oh, yeah. Which author who won the Carnegie Medal for Goggle Eyes and Flower Babies became the second children's laureate in 2001? Can I do like Michael Morpurgo or someone? Because I know he did it. Like, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Michael Morpurgo? No, it's Anne Fine. Which writer was instrumental in the establishment of the position of children's laureate and succeeded Anne Fine in 2003, the same year as the publication of his book Private Peaceful? 
That's Mopargo. Yeah, yeah that's Michael Mopargo. That is Michael Mopargo, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round now. If your picture starts, you're going to see a detail of a well-known painting. For ten points, I need the location that appears in the title. Let's go, Thompson. The Garden of Earthly Delights. No. King's Bedway. Um, the island of St. Jetty. Yes, I'll accept that. It is the island of the Grand Jack. It is the whole thing. Following on from that detail of Surah's Sunday afternoon on the Grand Jet. Here are three more paintings that feature monkeys. Again, not necessarily conspicuously. For your bonuses, you're going to see the whole painting in each case. I just need the name of the artist. Firstly, this is an early work by which artist? I'm not sure. Anant. I don't know. Rembrandt, maybe? It looks yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, is that Rembrandt? No, it's not. It's by Velasquez. Secondly, who's this by? I've seen this well, in the National Gallery. Um, <laughs> Titian. No, that's by Veronese. And finally... Is that Matisse or something? No, no, no. I'm... It's not going to be Frida Kahlo. Oh, it could be. It's not coming to mind, but I don't think it's either of those. Is it Rousseau? He painted a lot of tropical scenes. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, it's, it's going to... Let's just go with something. Uh, is it Frida Kahlo? It is Frida Kahlo, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What three letters begin French words for all of the following? Firstly, the verb to quibble. Secondly, figure or numeral. Surgeon, chemistry and dog. King's Bedway. C-H-I. C-H-I is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, you get some bonuses on the First World War. Which poet, art critic and writer whose death in 1918 was hastened by wounds sustained in conflict championed the Cubist movement and coined the word surrealist? Any, so, any suggestions? Poet, almost, art critic? My thought was Sassoon, but... I thought it was no, Sassoon, Sassoon died, 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 Oh, Wilfred Owen? He, did he die? Uh, he's no. in French. Is it uh, Marcel Duchamp? Because I know he started uh, that. Story. Nominate Beard. Is it Marcel Duchamp? No, it's not. It's Apollinaire. Umberto Boccioni, who died after an accident in 1916 while serving in the Italian army, was a sculptor associated with which art movement that emphasised the dynamism and power of the machine? I, think I feel like that's futurism. Yeah, that's was it right. Italian? Do you say Italian? Yeah, yeah Italian. Um, is that futurism? It is futurism, yes. Killed in 1914, Auguste Marker helped found which expressionist group with Kandinsky and Franz Marc? Any idea? Expressionist groups. I've got no idea. Um, could it be, I don't know, Dadaists? Yeah, we can go for um, it. The Dadaists? No, that was the Blauer writer, the Blue Rider. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. In square centimetres, what is the total surface area of a cuboid whose sides have length one, two, and three centimetres, respectively? King Spendway. Um, 12? No. Glasgow Cats. Sex? No, it's 22, and I'm afraid, Kings, that was just an interruption, so you lose five points. OK, another starter question now. The boll weevil is a species of beetle that afflicted what crop in the USA in the early 20th century with particular devastation in states such as Texas and Alabama? Kings Bedouin. Wheat? No. Glasgow Derulis. Potato? No, it's cotton. Ten points for this. The sharp-topped ridge known as Striding Edge is a feature of which Lake District...? King's Bedouin. Helvellyn. Helvellyn is correct. <laughs> These bonuses, which could give you the lead if you get them all, are on a mythical animal. In Through the Looking Glass, which mythical animal says to Alice, well, now that we've seen each other, if you believe in me, I'll believe in you. Tasha Khan. Yeah, Tasha Khan. Um, or is there anything I, I don't know? Yeah. Any, any suggestion? Well, I think it's a mythical creature. I'm happy to so, with... oh, it's mythical. Yeah, mythical. I feel like it's something like a unicorn. Yeah. Oh, that, that sounds good. Did I think there's a line in the unicorn battle. So. Come on. Yeah. Uh, is it a unicorn? Unicorn is correct. 
The name of what political philosophy appears in the full title of George Orwell's 1941 essay, The Lion and the Unicorn? Um, I think that's probably fascism, isn't it? OK. Uh, is it fascism? No, it's socialism. <laughs> socialism yeah. and the English genius. The Lion and the Unicorn appear on the arms of which Commonwealth country, along with the motto, Amari usque ad amari, meaning from sea to sea? Ooh, um, from sea to sea? I think that's Australia, isn't it? Yeah. It, could be, it could also be Gibraltar. It could be... Mm. I think so the Commonwealth might... country. Yeah, I would be happy with Australia. I was going to say something like the Bahamas. Actually, no, I think uh, it might be New Zealand. New Zealand? Okay, let's okay. go. Yeah. Yeah. Island. Come on. Let's go. Is it New Zealand? No, it's Canada. Oh. Ten points for this. Which British monarch was on the throne in the year which, when expressed in Roman numerals, contains the most digits of any year of the common era up to the present? Oscar Thompson. Elizabeth II. No. Anyone want to buzz from... King's Rashid. George III. No, it was Queen Victoria. Right, ten points for this. 2020 marked the 500th anniversary of which lavish 18-day event that took place just south of Calais? It was devised by Cardinal Wolsey to bring a lasting peace between France and England. King's Beard. Tournament to the Field of the Cloth of Gold. It was the field of the cloth of gold, yes, that's correct. <laughs> and that gives you the lead. You get a set of bonuses on marine ecosystems. The Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland is located in which sea within the Pacific Ocean? Um, Queensland is... Northeast North Australia. Northeast. So could it be the Sea of... Uh, the Sea of Java sounds like... There's the other... That might be the other side. Come on. Um, anyone? No. Oh, yeah. Is it the Sea of Java? No, it's the Coral Sea. <laughs> Situated northwest of Jamaica, which British overseas territory consists of three islands, each almost entirely surrounded by coral reefs? Is it Cayman Islands? Any yeah. advance on the Cayman Islands? Uh, is it the Cayman Islands? It is, yes. Very good. Consisting of a chain of more than a thousand coral islands and sandbanks, what country lies about 600 kilometres southwest of Sri Lanka? Um, is it the Andaman? Um, the Maldives. The Maldives. Oh, the Maldives, yeah. Is that the Maldives? It is the Maldives, yes. And then the Dom, Glasgow University have 100, and King's College London have 115. Well, bad luck, Glasgow. You led for most of the contest, but they came back in the second half pretty fiercely. And I doubt that 100 is going to be <laughs> high enough to bring you back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. King's, congratulations to you. Well done. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Glasgow University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from King's College London. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>